you're going to be scared. Like I was scared. The first month I was yeah. terrified of everything. Like you hear something on your hitting your roof and it's mm -hmm. a metal roof so oh. it's like ding ding you know it's really loud and yeah. it's acorns or it's a bird landing yeah. there Bundling. or it's windy and a tree is brushing against the side of your van but it sounds so scary when you're inside and you don't know what it is mm -hmm. but you get used to it then like you're like oh that's an acorn oh that's a bird right. you know like you learn and also like you just gotta like what i would do if i got really anxious or scared which happened a lot like i had trouble sleeping and i would just sit there and say what are you scared of what's making you anxious is it real uh -huh. like if you're parked alone somewhere and you know you're alone like what are you scared of like Right. There's nothing out there. Mm -hmm. You're, you're just—it's yourself. You're—it's like right. It's like media. It's you know everybody. The news tells you to be scared. The news tells you you're gonna get murdered or raped or whatever. Yeah. Like, but I would say do it. Like, and if you hate it, it's okay. Like, it's mm -hmm. totally okay to hate it. It's totally mm -hmm. okay not to do it. But if you want to, you should try. You know, like give it a month. Take two, one or two mm -hmm. months. Try it. If you like it, yay. If you don't, yeah. don't do it. It's okay to fail. Now, so far, you never regret. Oh no. no. I wish I did it sooner. I wish I did it 20 years ago. Uh, well. <laughs> I would have been so much. Yeah. I wish I'd done it a long time ago. It because I, and I it took a long time because the media tells you to be scared. The media tells women to be scared, and I was mm -hmm. scared. It feels so good. It is very freeing. It's very yeah. freeing. Yeah, and we're fighting back against this world that has told us to be scared. You know, we're saying no, we're not. We're mm -hmm. not scared. We're doing it. Like there's, you know, there's you can't tell us no... to be scared. Mm. No need to be scared. <laughs> there's no need to be scared. So, you know. Okay. But also, you should always be cautious. Mm -hmm. Don't do stupid things. Don't invite strangers into your van like I'm doing right now. <laughs> <laughs> you made a mistake. I, you, like you made I a know, mistake. I know. Yeah. I'm in big trouble now. I know. <laughs>
Yeah, and then you leave. And I can leave. I don't okay, have good. to leave my vehicle. Yeah. I don't have to get out and walk around. I can just go. And that's the biggest thing for me. There's nothing blocking my way to get to my driver's seat. Okay, just in case, you have, do you have any protect gear? <laughs> yeah, sort of. I mean, it's not meant for protection. I have a, um, I have a forager's knife. Like, it's a big, long knife like this. Scare. That I use for, like, mushrooms and, uh -huh. like, other types of foraging. And yeah. I have it with me, but yeah. I, I don't even worry. Like, the... Most crimes are crimes of opportunity. So mm. people go by and they'll check your doors. If your door is locked, they, mm -hmm. it's going to take extra effort mm. to smash the window, you know. And most right. people, mm. if you're just looking to steal something, they're not going to take the time. Mm -hmm. um, any other thing, like if somebody's trying my door and they really want to get in, then mm. I can just get in my front seat and drive away. Mm. And the other thing I usually do, I'm not doing it here. Um, is I usually park facing out. Mm -hmm. Like, I park so I'm facing easy driving yeah. away. Yeah. Um, so that's usually what I do as well, so I can always just go without. But I've never had anybody try to get in my van. I've never had uh, police knock on my door. I have had the police called on me. <laughs> like somebody in, uh, where was I? I was on the coast of California. Mm -hmm. Fancy little town, fancy, fancy little town, middle of the day. Mm -hmm parked legally in a parking lot at mm -hmm. the beach but my van's not pretty enough and so they called the cops because they thought it was sketchy mm -hmm. and so the cops came and the cop yeah. apologized <laughs> just in the middle of the day middle of the day and, but it's because uh, i'm not pretty my van's not like you know classy or gorgeous and so they thought i was scary or sketchy I wasn't, well, not even overnight or anything, and it was just because, you know, it's like class issues there. However, your parents worried about you. Um, I think the first year they did. My dad worried. My mom, um, I've lived a lot of places. I've traveled a lot. Um, I lived in Oakland, California for four years. I lived in Hawaii for a year. I've lived in Buffalo, New York. I've lived in New Jersey. My mom just doesn't worry anymore. Okay. She just... Jen, she always says Jenny's just doing her thing. <laughs> yeah. She already knew there's a nomad blood in your yeah. body. Yeah. Okay. Why are you here, here now? I came for WRTR specifically. What's the WRTR? <laughs> uh, WRTR is the Women's Rubber Tramp Rendezvous. It's a only women are allowed, no men. Because women traveling have different issues than men traveling. Uh -huh. And there's a lot of women who come to this event who are escaping bad situations, maybe, mm -hmm. and they don't want men there because it's just uncomfortable or they've had bad experiences. Um, or just, you know, it's like a safe place for women to be. And we can talk about anything, uh -huh. you know? We can talk about safety concerns that men don't necessarily have. We can talk about all types of things. Um, I love it. It feels so good. What's your plan later? There's... I love being in Vermont. I have, you know, my family's there. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad does a giant garden every year, and I love gardening. That's one of my like passions in life is gardening. Okay, thank you very much. You're Could you welcome. Show us around your yeah, rig. Absolutely, Nina? it's it's very uh, DIY. It's not fancy. So it's a 2006 Sprinter, mm -hmm. Mercedes Sprinter, mm -hmm. diesel. Yeah. She gets excellent mileage, 24 miles a gallon on wow. the highway. It's nice. Yeah, super nice. She's older, but she's she runs really well. Uh, she's got a few issues with rust on the sides and stuff. She's been so good. Like, yeah, I love driving this van. I tinted the windows. Uh -huh. I put the tint on the inside. Yep. My dad built these metal things mm -hmm. because without the metal thing there, mm -hmm. if I have the window open, somebody can reach their hand in uh -huh. and unlock the door. And that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> a little bit. Is it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's bolted Very sturdy. In. It's yeah. bolted in. Yeah, nice. Bolted it in, yeah. Mm. Here, I got rust. Mm -hmm. Rust, 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 rust. Yeah. It's very bad. It, yeah. You, know, you have solar panel on the roof? No. No. I have oh. no solar. I have no power. Okay. Nothing. Then Very, how can you charge your cell phone or... Well, I actually like? have a... Um, I use my 12 volt. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Or I actually have a, um, what do you call those, battery pack? Um, like a, a power bank. A power bank, thank yeah. you. I have yeah. a portable power bank. Uh huh. That's decent, but that's the only thing. How do you charge power bank? With my 12 volt. 12 volt, what, you know, the car and, okay. Yep, so I charge it while I'm driving. Mm -hmm. But I haven't really needed, yeah. I don't use much power. This is a really heavy curtain. Uh huh. And I actually, I'll tell you all the details. It's dark. This uh -huh. is the side that faces out. Yeah. So it doesn't look like it's um, a van somebody would live in. So I chose just boring old brown and so it, it's harder to see. And it magnets, these are all magnets that go together so I can close it. Mm -hmm. You know, important things. I have extra bungee cords for mm -hmm. emergencies, flashlight for emergency, my hats. This is a whistle for when you go hiking uh -huh. by yourself. Um, yeah, and everything just hangs here. I have little lighting, fairy lights. Nice. My sister and I did this. My sister's awesome. She helped me with this. Um, uh -huh. So I did this, and this whole, the whole, you can't see it, but this is all insulated the same way. Uh, nice. This is yeah. not, this is reflected because I was going to put a fan here. This is where oh. the fan goes. But I, that's, No fan here. Not yet. <laughs> Because yeah. getting the fan is like a couple hundred dollars and then somebody's, I can't cut a hole in the roof. <laughs> yeah. So I got to get somebody to do it and it's a big project and I haven't really needed it. So for now it's just this until I decide what to do. Yeah. But also, you know what, like this van, she's old. Mm -hmm. She has a lot of miles on her. Like I'm hesitant to spend lots of money because mm -hmm. I mean, she'll go another hundred thousand miles, but... Mm -hmm. You know, how much money do you want to spend and how long is she going to last? So, okay, I'm hesitant. So, then, this is, um, I'll show you. Let me see. We did linoleum floors, mm -hmm. it's really hard, it's all screwed in. It's not peel and stick. No, no, this is heavy duty, no peel and stick. This is real linoleum. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. We glued it down and screwed it. Mm -hmm. Mm. It took a long time, but you can clean it easily. That's what I like. It's yeah. so easy to clean. Mm -hmm. um, and this is a storage. It was a toy box and I painted it. I found it for free. And this is my cabinet. Uh, mm. Like it has all my, it's messy, you know, how that goes. But yeah. food storage. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. a pantry. Yeah, it's yeah. my pantry. I got this for free on Craigslist. Mm -hmm. And I have my stove. Yeah. No sink. No sink. Okay. Nope. I Good. wash dishes with vinegar. Yeah. Um, yeah. Save yeah. the water. Save the water. Yeah. yeah. Um, this is another storage. But this is the same. It's like more food. I do a lot of cooking because that saves mm -hmm. you a lot of money. I don't eat out very often. So I have... Mm -hmm a huge like kitchen supplies because that's like a important I, thing to me i don't see any cooler or refrigerator you don't have no any cooler, no refrigerator then how can you store your food um i don't buy things that need storing so mm. nothing frozen unless i'm gonna eat it the same day yeah. nothing that needs refrigeration unless i'm gonna eat it the same day mm. um but surprisingly you learn things on the road is that not everything that you think needs refrigeration needs to be refrigerated like um i'm trying to think like i i buy this to put in my coffee mm -hmm. and it says refrigerate after opening mm. no nah, it keeps for like two weeks no need mm. no need to you just i smell it every morning to make sure it's okay when it goes bad you'll know uh, yeah. <laughs> And vegetables, like, you know, they stay, this, this keeps this, um, this is so heavy duty. It actually acts like a cooler in some ways. Like it keeps things very cool. Like it's always mm -hmm. cooler inside. Yeah. So like these, you know, vegetables will last so long. Okay. Yeah. So I, one thing that I do, and it's a benefit of being in Vermont and mm -hmm. having a garden every summer mm -hmm. is I dehydrate everything, all the vegetables from the garden. I dehydrate myself. Uh -huh. And so I have jars, I have glass jars and they are just mm. filled with like mm. uh, pumpkin and spinach and uh, mm. greens and chard and mushrooms. So like, it'll go a long time. It'll long, go long, yeah. Long so I have day, lots and lots day. of dehydrated yeah. stuff that I can cook up. Yeah, and so I have, these are magnets, but these are curtains that go over this, with these windows. Uh -huh. I have blocked with reflex sticks. So basically you are not seeing outside through the yeah, window, I like only that. this door. Yes. I like that. Mm. 
I prefer that. These, I did not, I felt like too many people felt, I felt could look in, mm. like, also I, because I stealth camp a lot. You know, yeah. if I'm stealthing in a city, I don't want people mm. to be able to see in. Yeah. And that, mm. it's sad because they're gorgeous windows, but it makes me, um, so I cover them up. Mm. <laughs> you make it work for you. Okay. This is my bed. So mm. so I'm short. As you can see, I can stand in here <laughs> perfectly. Yeah. Uh -huh. I can also lay across. Uh, yeah. And that's really nice. Mm. I can sit. Yeah. And my head doesn't so I can sit mm. up comfortably. Good. So my Um What about can I ask something? Yeah. Mm. Where's your bathroom? Yeah, the most important question. Right? <laughs> yeah. This is my bathroom. I don't oh, really want to show you. Well, this, I can. It's the bathroom. Yeah. yeah the old man. It's a bucket. Uh huh. I mean, it's a bucket with a. Yeah. With a seat on top. Mm hmm. And yeah. that's it. And you can sit. Mm hmm. <laughs> right. Everything has more than one use. Yeah. Everybody uses like this. Yeah. yeah. Me too. Mm. Yeah. That's awesome. And then, what about shower? Um, for showering, I, uh,. Mm. That's it? I what? <laughs> you step on it? No, inside? no, no, no. I heat water. Uh huh. And then I just. <laughs> that's how I wash my hair, and then just. Wash. No. I lay down. I I lay down a towel in the uh, middle of the uh -huh. van because, mm. and that's it. Very simple, but that's why I have short mm. hair, because it yeah. doesn't take any effort to wash it. It's like, and yeah. it doesn't take much water either, so that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, water. This is my water storage. <laughs> my okay. ears. The other cool thing I have. Do you know this is a portable oven thing? Portable you put, oven. You put food in here, uh -huh. and it heats it like you plug it into your plug it into your twelve volt, oh. and it cooks your food. So I can eat like heat while I'm driving. Okay, thank you. You encourage many people now. Yeah. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Chagabo, Chagabo. Chagabo, Chagabo. Chagabo, Chagabo. Chagabo, Chagabo. Chagabo, Chagabo.